welcome to Live Your Dream TV, the coolest place on the web for entrepreneurs to be inspired, educated, and entertained. My name is Tara Carbo, and I'll be your host today. We are here with a champion, ladies and gentlemen, a winner. I'd like to introduce you to Alexandra Morton. She won first place for the Black Miss America pageant this March, and um, I'm just excited to welcome you to the show. Thank you. Awesome. So we're really happy to have you here. And um, I tracked the pageant through rehearsals and different things. It just opened my eyes to like what was out there in the pageant world. And I think that the whole thing is just a phenomenal, um, phenomenal thing to have you know going on. Um, and it's really affected you. As uh, so we've talked a little bit today, I've learned a lot about Alexandra and um, some of the things that brought her to the pageant. So I think first I'd really like to get into you know. Have you been in pageantry all your life? Is this your first time? Um, and what brought you to the pageant? Actually, this was the first pageant that I had ever participated in. I was not a pageant baby. And I would, got into the pageant because I had lost my mother in the summer of J July 2010. And my cousin had come into town and one of her friends was in a pageant and I saw the opportunities that these young women were afforded and I said, hey, this is something I would like to be a part of. So I decided to apply online. I totally forgot that I had applied and I received a phone call, I believe in November, from Miss Anderson letting me know that they had received my application to come to an informational session. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, so your first pageant, you just get into it, um, you really don't know what to do or how to behave or what colors to wear or anything like that. So tell us a little bit about, you know, how you prepared. Okay, um, I'm so happy that this is a new era and there's a digital age with brilliant technology. Thank you, Google. <laughs> I um, uh, How I prepared was really utilizing the internet. I watched Miss Congeniality. It may sound crazy, <laughs> but I did. I watched reruns from previous Miss America pageants and Miss USA pageants. I went on YouTube, yes, YouTube, and I Googled different pageant coaches who were online mm. who gave information tutorials about how to walk, poise, how to carry yourself, and how to win pageants. So I did a lot of research on my own, being that I didn't have a coach. Wow. Congratulations. Self-taught winner, guys. That's awesome. <laughs> That's cool. And so um, tell us a little bit about your experience as you um, moved through and got to meet the girls and, um, you know, got to just really sink into the organization. I think that it's what a lot of people have misconceptions about how the pageantry world is. I haven't done any other pageant besides the Miss Black America pageant, but I can tell you that a lot of the stereotypes that I had in my own mind was, oh, the pageant world is catty, you know, you, you have a bunch of raving beauty queens who are at each other's throat, and this pageant experience was totally not like that. The girls were wonderful. If, you know, if somebody was hungry, they had food. If you needed help with getting a routine down, the girls were really helpful to help each, help each other out to get the routine down because I'm going to let you know now I was not a dancer. I had a lot of my fellow colleagues who were in the pageant as well help teach me the routine so I don't look like a fool on stage. <laughs> awesome. That's good. So you made a lot of friends. Yes, I did. I did. That's great. And so um, as you were, I guess, in the final um, competition, um, you said that you had actually thought that one of your friends was going to win. And so tell us a little bit about um, how you said that the, the pageant teaches you to kind of prepare yourself and to position yourself so that you feel like you've already won before the winners are really picked. Well, the motto of the Miss Black America pageant is to sow the seeds of positivity, reap the flowers of success. And they have a really strong emphasis on personal development. And one of the key things they have is for you to be peaceful within yourself. And a lot of times as a young woman, you can be in different type of situations and you can become nervous. I was one of those people who if I was in a situation that I was unfamiliar with, I would become I would have anxiety and things of that nature. So they really teach you how to breathe so you can relax your body. They have exercises so you can be relaxed. And one of the things with the Miss Black America pageant is they teach you that winning is on the inside. 
And once you develop that type of mindset that you are a winner, and no matter what the outcome is, that you're coming on top, as long as you're retaining some type of positive reinforcement with that experience, I think that you've already won. And that's something that I had to embody throughout the entire pattern experience. Yeah, that's awesome. Just coming out the other side with that kind of you know, confidence and understanding is fantastic. Um, I love that. Now that you've won, I'd like to know, um, you know, what you're what you're going to do with your life now differently that you maybe wouldn't have done if you didn't enter the pageant. Well, one of the lessons that I came out with the pageant was to dream bigger. I I came into the pageant not knowing if I was going to win or not, with the hopes of just winning the local qualifying pageants. And now that I've done that, it has helped me to expand my own personal horizons. And that's something that I plan to take with me throughout the rest of my life and help other people realize that you can dream and you can dream big. And it's it's okay. You don't have to be ashamed about who you are. You don't have to be ashamed about your dreams. Live them fearlessly. It has been yeah. really a wonderful experience. It has been a, not only a healing process, but a process for me to come into my own as a woman. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Awesome. And so not only do you have these internal rewards, um, but you also got lots and lots of gifts for winning. Yes, I did. Can you tell us just a couple of the gifts that you want to highlight? Well, I got, I have a really beautiful ring. That from, is totally beautiful. From 24 Karat. I have... Okay, so that's 24K National? Yes. Wow, that's a, that's a beautiful ring. I want one of those. I'm going to have to enter. <laughs> Definitely. I also won. This is actually one of my prizes to be here with the yes. wonderful Miss Tara. Yes. So um, that's another fabulous prize. Yes. I lost. And I'm I'm really thankful for all of the companies and organizations who have donated to the Miss Black America organizations prize packages, especially all the affiliates with the Women's Expo. Yay! That's great. Yeah, I mean, I think that um, so many people thought it was important to, you know, reach out and to, you know, give a little something from what their company represents. And mm -hmm. um, sure enough, we did shower the winners, so that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, so now you have this new success in life, and you're, like, totally empowered and off to the races with your life. Um, what can you give others who are aspiring to live their dreams? I think it's important to... Realize that you don't have to undercut your dreams. You don't have to undercut what you really want. If it's for you, it's for you. And not to let anyone speak negatively about your dreams and your hopes and desires for your life. That's fantastic. Um, yeah. Would you help us wrap up with the question of the day? Sure. My question of the day is, what seed of positivity are you sowing in your own life to reap the flowers of success? Ooh, that was very good. I love that. Okay, guys, you know what to do. Answer in the comment box down here. Let's see what kind of answers we have going on out there. I think I know what my answer would be. Um, thank you again for coming on the show. We love having you. Guys, your passion is our passion, and our goal is to go out there together as a community and empower others to live their dream. Thank you for watching. Yeah.